Hey guys, this is Akshay Nadan and welcome back to the next part of this Crew AI uh, course. So uh, we have already covered uh, three parts of this course and uh, we saw an introduction to AI agents. We saw how React agents work and then we also built a simple uh, React, user, React agent using uh, Python. So in this video, we will be covering how to get started with uh, Crew AI, like how to set up your boilerplate code, how to uh, use Crew AI commands to set up your uh, base project. So first of all, what you need to do is uh, search for crew AI docs. So everything that you need to know uh, for this video and upcoming videos, it, everything is uh, listed down properly in these docs. So if you don't want to follow my videos, you feel free to go through these uh, documentation. Okay, so first of all, uh, here you can understand what is a crew, what is flows, everything will be covered in uh, upcoming videos. So don't worry. But for now, you need to click on this installation and let's see how to uh, install Crew UI and set up a basic project. So first of all, uh, as you can see, I'm using this warp terminal. Uh, you can also use your uh, default terminal of your Mac machine or your Windows machine also. And in this, I'm going to go inside this uh, folder, uh, which is learn Crew UI folder, which is in my documents, because here I, in the last video also, I created this virtual environment and I want to use, reuse this virtual environment. Okay, so first of all, I'll go to CD documents. Uh, then I'll go to CD um, Akshit Madan and CD learn Crew UI. And now if I just say ls uh, dash a, you will see that uh, I can see whatever is there inside this folder. Okay, so now let's activate this virtual environment, which I already created. So for that you uh, do, uh, what you do on Mac is source um, venv slash bin slash activate. And if you hit enter, you can see that my virtual environment is activated. Okay, let's just clear it. And you can see my virtual environment is activated. Now, whatever I'm going to install will be installed in this virtual environment itself, not globally in my computer. Okay, uh, great. Now, what we need to do is uh, we can hit this command, uv tool install crew AI, or you can also say pip install crew AI. Okay, so let's just use uv tool install crew AI. But to uh, use UV, you need to have UV in your system, okay? But what exactly is this UV? So UV in Python, let's just search on uh, internet. UV is a fast new Python package and project manager built using Rust, designed to replace the Unify tools like pip, pip tools, pipx, poetry, all of this, you can just, uh, instead of all of these tools, you can just use UV, one single uh, tool you can use, okay? So let's just install UV, so as, uh, it is suggesting me the command for Mac OS. I'll just say, I'll just copy this and uh, paste this. So this is going to install my UV. And after that, I can use UV for installing Python packages or defining all the packages that my project needs and installing all the packages all at once. Everything will be done using UV. Okay, so this is done. Now what I can do is I will run this UV tool install Crew AI. So I'll just copy this and I'll hit this command. Crew is already installed. So I already installed Crew AI in my uh, virtual environment. So this is already installed. Perfect. Great. Now let's just create a Crew AI project. So for that, uh, we have been given this command. So let's just copy this and let's just paste this, your project name. So this is a basic Crew AI project. So I'll just name it as basic Crew AI and I'll hit enter. So as you can see now, Crew AI command, I can use in my system, right? If I would not have installed Crew UI and UV, then I could not use Crew UI command. Great. Now it is asking me which provider I want to set up. So I want to use, I want to make this course free of cost. So I'll not use OpenAI because for OpenAI APIs and API keys you have to pay. So let's just use Gemini, which is free of cost. So uh, I'll enter three number because three is for Gemini uh, over here. So I'll just enter three and hit enter. Now, which model I want to use. So I'll use 1.5 Pro you can use or 1.5 Flash. So let's say you're 1.5 Flash. So I'll just enter one and hit enter. Enter your Gemini API key. For now, I don't have API key. I'll go on Google, uh, Google uh, AI Studio and create the API key. So for now, let's just enter and skip it. You can enter it in your environment uh, file also. So this is done. Now, if I go back to my folder, you can see basic Crew AI uh, folder over here. And inside this, I have knowledge folder. I'll uh, explain the uh, meaning of this and significance of this as we'll move forward in this course. But the most important folder is this source. Uh, other than that, we also have this uh, pyproject.toml. 
So in this file, you see all the dependencies. So if you if I work with Python, you you know requirements.txt file, right? Where you define all your requirements and dependencies. Similarly, if you use uh, uh, UV or if you use uh, uh, Pottery, then pyproject.toml file is a file that we get and it has all the dependencies. So you can see we have UI tools and UI and other some uh, some other dependencies. So this is the significance of this file. Great. Now if I take you to uh, the source folder, uh, you can see uh, main.py which is again the entry point of my crew application and there are certain uh, commands and functions that are given. So run is to run your crew. Crew, you just understand that crew is a group of agents and every agent will be assigned some task and given, given some tools. Okay. So just repeating my sentence, crew is nothing but a group of agents, multi-agents because crew AI is a multi-agent framework. A group of agents which have which every agent will be assigned some task and to perform those tasks every agent will be given some tools great okay so for that we need to configure the agents and the task so if i go to config you see agents.yml file and task.yml file now it's not compulsory that you have to define all of your agents in this config file itself or all of your task in this yaml file itself or uh, you need to define all your tools in this tools folder itself no you can follow your own project structure also. But CreeUI team suggests us to use this project structure for building an agent or multi-agent because this will keep everything structured and because CreeUI is a global platform, it's a global framework, if you go and switch companies, there also you will find this structure. So it is important that you follow the structure that the team is suggesting. Okay. Otherwise, you can build your complete crew in this crew.py also. You can define all of, all of your agents, all of your uh, task as simple python objects in this file itself or in the main.py itself but just to keep everything structured and um, so that everyone can understand it we have crew ai team has defined the structure okay so every we will come to this agent and task file in the next video but for this video you just understand the project structure so first of all uh, as i told you you have main.py which is the entry point this main.py will call your crew so this crew is present in the crew.py Okay, so again, this is another class which defines or configures your agents.config, agent.yml file and task.yml file so that this file has access to all of your agents and all of your tasks. Then you use this decorator, this as soon as you define this at agent, the below function will be considered as an agent. So this is your researcher agent. The configuration of this researcher agent is present in this uh, config file. You can see this here is a researcher, here is a reporting analyst. So in this crew.py you have two decorator, uh, decorated functions, researcher and reporting analyst. And here you just define the configuration and give reference to your configuration file. Verbose true means all of your logs will be printed so that you can understand what is happening in the agent, right? You can see the trajectory, great. Similarly, you have to define decorated functions. With the decorator you have to use this task, okay? Then you define crew and here you define all of your agents, all of your task, process dot sequential. So you can have various processes like uh, sequential, hierarchical, sequential means one after another. All of your agents will perform one task after uh, the previous agent has completed its task. Okay. Verbose true again means all of your logs will be printed. So this is the basic project structure of a crew AI agent. Now if you want to have multiple crews in your project, like one crew is for marketing, right? And that marketing crew has some marketing agents. But there is some other crew which is for coding. And that coding crew has some coding agents. So for having multiple crews, there is a concept in crew called flows, which will be covered in the upcoming video. But I hope you understood the basic project uh, structure of crew AI and how to set it up using the crew AI commands given in the documentation. Okay, all the links of documentation are in the description. See you in the next video where we are going to understand more about agents and tasks and we will create a custom agents, custom task and in the next video we will be creating custom tools. So see you in the next video. Till the next video, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.